Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Mod type run of EV Emerald. Last time, we caught Registeel and trained it a bit off screen. I also went and did the stuff needed to get a Shell Bell, since, well, it takes a while to do. You have to worry about, you know, the tides and stuff like that. Anyways, this time, we're gonna go and deal with Team Aqua. Step 1 Dive. Step 2 Swim. So. Yeah, it's all the way down at the bottom of this trench. Now, if you think about it, about how deep you must be, how the hell do, are you not just crushed by the pressure? I mean, at least in the remakes, you have the Magma or Aqua suit that basically works as both a diving suit and a space suit despite the requirements of them being diametrically opposed. Uh, let's see, is there anything down here? But, in the originals, no such protection. I guess, I guess I just shouldn't think about it too hard. Anyways, yeah, there's the submarine. Oh, another thing I did, I also, uh... Well, used a couple of TMs on Registeel. Um, I went to Sl went to Sotopolis City already, and I got the TM for Brick Break. And I also gave it Return, because... Well, Super Power... Yeah, it's powerful, but you only get five power points, and you lower your stats every time you use it. I'd rather keep the Strength buffs from Curse. Plus, Brick Break can deal with stuff like Reflect and Light Screen. And return at max power is 102 base power, which is going to be a lot better than Metal Claw. And of course, Thunderbolt is just there to deal with, you know, physical walls. One down. I bet it's tiny. I mean, they had what, like... Eight or so people shoved inside of it? I mean, I don't feel bad for you one bit. You guys stole it. I guess you could say he's a sore loser. I'll be here all week. That wasn't the way I wanted to go. I want to battle the extra trainers, because again, you don't get to... Wait a second, something's not right. No, I was going the right way. Never mind. I just had to remember if this was another one of those maps that has broken warp points, but I guess not.
Yeah, you did. <laughs> like you're any better. Alright, let's just speed this up a bit. Yeah, strength puzzles. Let's go this way. Okay, this one is gonna be a bit tedious. Uh, yeah, which way do I want to go? Well, I have to go right, obviously, but... Hmm, okay. I have to go this way. Because the thing is, if I take the wrong one, it'll send me right back to the entrance. Then again, this... Oh yeah, this is the much simpler one. It's the other one that will take me back the wrong way. Now, we could avoid the battle, but I'd rather not. I want the experience. You know what? We're gonna make this a double battle. And there's your last encounter with Shelly. Again, her Team Magma counterpart, Courtney, doesn't show up at all in every version. It's just her, Matt, and Tabitha. Now you guys get to see Ridge Seal in battle for the first time. Alright, first things first. Mighty Enemy needs to go down because otherwise it's going to use Roar. Dodge this. Good thing that Roar has negative priority, so it always goes last, unless it's up against a move like Vital Throw or something like that. Of course you're going to use it on Red to Steel, but unfortunately for you... Well... I have a Yellow Flute. And I will use it. Ooh! That looked like it hurt. I think you might have an item to heal. But we're just going to use... There we go. Knock out Mighty Anna. Do that. And we'll use return. And with that, there's only one more obstacle to go. So, we just go through this door and we will see what awaits us. Okay, so it's a strike puzzle. 
we're just gonna pop a super repel. I don't know if you can counter anything in here, but let's just make it easier on ourselves. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, you want to go with this one, I think. Wait a second, I think I might have fucked up. Wait, no, I didn't. There's a couple ways to solve this, I think. Uh, okay, so now we come into here and we get the TM for Earthquake. I'm probably gonna teach this to something, but I haven't decided what. Maybe Metagross, maybe Aggron, we'll see. But we keep going down here. And it's Johnny Depp. I mean, Archie. I should have probably sent in Registeel, whatever. Nice try, Mighty Anna. Was you swift this time? I'm about to say, are you gonna do flinch fusion hacks? You are way too high in level to be using super potions, dude. Keep wasting time, dude. This ain't gonna change anything. Careful what you wish for. And that's the end of that. Who are you calling a child? I don't think that's a good idea, dude. Wow, for once, Maxie's actually talking sense! When will you two learn that your actions have consequences?
Okay, so yeah, we gotta go back to Sotopolis City. Alright, and we will skip ahead. Now, I don't need to do this, because I've already been there. I could have just flown, but I'm just going to show you guys how to get in. You find the ring around the volcano, and then you just swim around to the front. The south, rather, I guess. Did I pick this up? No, I didn't. Oh, big pearl. I could sell that for a decent amount of money. Are you two just gonna stare at each other, or what? Okay. And yeah, you can... Oh no, you can't go between them. Go over here, talk to Steven. And now we arrive at the Cave of Origin. So the Cave of Origin is a lot shorter, an emerald version. Ruby and Sapphire, this is where you fight the mascot legendary. It's also where you get Waterfall, but here, well, you don't. Here's a hint. It's the only location that you haven't been to yet. So, if you may remember the call from earlier, it's near Pacific Lodge Town. So, and we're here. So we'll need to go this way. So, in order to get the Sky Pillar, you swim around here. Now, <clears throat> prior to this event, you would not be able to access it. And actually, in Ruby and Sapphire, you can't do it until the post-game, because Sky Pillar is a post-game dungeon in those games. And in order to get to the top in those games at all, or to eventually get Rayquaza in this game, you need to use the Mach Bike. And it is very, very difficult to control. And here we go. Like that. Just walk around here. Nobody asked you. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, we're going this way. Go anyway. Now we reach the top. 
no items up here. And there's Rayquaza. By the way, in Emerald version, you can catch Rayquaza before fighting the Elite Four. It's at level 70. It basically breaks the game. And now we can fly from the top back to Satopolis City. And we're treated to a cutscene. So, some of you may have noticed, of course, the Reggie's mostly golems, right? There's a sort of Hebrew mythology theme going on with the legendaries in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Groudon is based on the Behemoth, Kyogre is on the Leviathan, and Rayquaza is a dragon named Zeex. Something like, or something like that. And, well, everything's back to normal. Ish. Say, uh, let's see, how long have I been going for? Okay, we've been going for more than 20 minutes. We'll just wrap this up real quick. So, I think you have to talk to them both. Or, yep, now they go away. You can talk to Wallace here. And you get Waterfall. The last HM you need to reach Evergrande City. But you can't use it yet. There's one more gym battle. So, next time, we're going to be earning that badge. Anyways, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.